Hey fellow doers, in this video we're gonna discuss about the price list which is a feature allowed to set multiple prices for a product which concentrate on different customers or time period or sales channels. Odo basically provides different types of price list such as multiple prices per product and advanced pricing rule which allow you to manage the prices using discounts, formulas or setting of margins. We know every business will have a certain number of loyal customers. For loyal customers and every business would love to give the product with a lower price than that of the regular price. In all such cases, you can use the price list strategies uh, to just boost the business. So let's see how we gonna manage with the price list in Odoo 17. In this video, we will be dealing with the price list, which is multiple price per product. So let's hop into the database to manage with it. Let's see how can we manage with the price list in Odoo 17 sales module. For that, you can just get into the sales module and we have to enable the price list from the configuration settings. So we can manage the price list under the pricing where you can see we can manage the multiple prices per product or advanced price rules using discounts and formula. As we have just enabled this feature, now we are going to configure the price list from the configuration settings itself or you can also manage the price list from the product tab where you can find the price list over here. So uh, let's focus on multiple prices per product and let's create a new price list. Here you can see the price list along with its name, discount policy, the currency that is applied, the website as well as the company. Now we are going to create a new price list for our loyal customers. Which means we have frequent customers or the customers they may come um, in certain times and all. So for our loyal customers, uh, I would like to give a percentage of discount or with a smaller um, yeah, change in the price as of that of uh, the regular price. So you can just click on new button to create a new price list where I'm going to create a price list as loyal customer price list so the loyal customers are the frequent customers of our company so loyal customer price list be the name of the price list and here you can see the currency that to be applied in this uh, yeah price list as we have only activated two currencies that are listed over here and I want to apply USD in the price list and if you want to just restrict this price list for a particular company you can just set the company for the time being i need to use this price list for any of the company in my database so i'm keeping this field as none now we're gonna focus on the pricing rules so here you can choose the product so let me choose the product as yeah let's move on and let me search for the product which is um which is which is yeah let's select one of the product which is a uh, corner right sit and if it has any variance you can apply the variance over here and you can also set the minimum quantity as well as price so as you just uh, just get into the um, internal link of the product you can find that the regular price of the product is 147 but for my customers that is for my regular customers I would like to provide this um, corner desk writes it just for hundred dollar so here you can see we have just created a price list and that price list will be configured configured there and you can just move on to the price list that we are dealing with and let's set the price over here so let me choose the price as hundred and here you can also set the quantity and if you want to just restrict this um, price list for a particular period then you can just set the start date and end date over there. So let me uh, save this afterwards. Um, we know we are going to apply this price list for our loyal customers. So in such cases, we have to consider our customer. So let me choose my customer, Deco Addict, who is a frequent purchaser of my company, Chicago. And you can just move on to the sales and purchase tab where you can just apply the price list. So here you can see that as we have just used a customer, the price list is automatically configured over here by Odoo. Now let's move on and create a quotation and 
uh, yeah, here you can choose a customer. And you can find the magic that as you just choose a customer, Odoo will automatically configure the price list under the price list field. And here we know we are giving uh, a small um, change in the exact price of corner desk, right set, right. So you can choose a product. So as we have only added one product over there, we can only choose that which is corner desk right seat and you can choose the product. So as we have just added the product, you can see that the unit price is calculated over here, which is less than that of the regular price because we have set another unit price for our loyal customers over here. And that's all about dealing with the uh, price list in Odoo 70. Price list is a powerful tool which is used by every business to manage and customize the pricing strategies of uh, diverse needs of customers and market condition. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.